Haunted Souls, welcome back and hi to everyone that is new. I hope that you are doing super, super well. So I've just got back from Portugal, got back uh, on Tuesday um, and I'm actually recording this a little bit early to get it out to you. Um, but I had an amazing time. Um, Portugal really took a piece of my heart. I, I fell in love with the place and obviously because we kind of got um, links to that, like my son is... Brazilian and um, Portuguese British and my partner is Brazilian Portuguese so we kind of had this very strong link with Portugal and um, but it was the first time I went and I absolutely loved it so you can see my kind of slight tan going on I thought it looked darker than what it was but no um, I still look <laughs> I'm still looking a little bit untanned but I did manage to get some so what we are oh yeah the other thing is I'm firing back on all cylinders so if you need me for readings voice note readings etc etc I am back I'm back. So today we are going to do what is happening with the person that you're asking about that you don't know about. So let me just rephrase that because that was a bit wordy. What's happening with the person, your person, the person you're thinking about that you don't know about? And I've got two decks to choose from, one and two. And I was really drawn while well, Spirit kind of drew me to the black and white decks here. And the reason why, when I'm asking them, I said, why do we need the black and white decks today? And they said, because at the moment it's been black and white and there isn't a grey area. So what we're going to do today is go into the grey area, have a look at what is happening with you and your person and the stuff that you don't know about. And that's why we're using black and white decks. So I want to use, how do we want to do this? No, we are going this way, being guided to what, what decks, which one. Deck number one and deck number two. So this is Tarot of the Abyss. And this one um, I got at Witchfest from a creator. And it is called, let me get it out before I bodge it up and tell you something different. Uh, the... Esme, Esme Baker Tattoo Tarot, Esme Baker Tattoo Tarot, um, and they're beautiful, so she's a, ta I think she's, the lady said to me she was a tattoo artist, and so she's created this deck with the tattoos, and um, if you like to get decks and you want to colour it, you know, the, the images on it are, are very open for colouring and interpretation, which I love. Number one, number two. So go to the deck you're most drawn to, and as you get drawn to that deck, I just want you to think about the person that you're asking about. And as you're thinking about that person, just want you to feel that sense of energy, feel those emotions in your heart and push it to the deck that you are most drawn to. One, two, let's go. Number one. So I'm just going to nip into your person's energy. So through your energy, from spirit, through spirit, to spirit, I'm going to link with your energy and then link your energy to the person that you're asking about. So I'm say, can you think about them now for me as I connect up with that energy? Fabulous. Well done, guys. And what we're going to do now, I'm just going to do two more of that. My guide does two more. Whenever I say spirit, I mean spirit guides. And um, in my right ear, um, being a, a high priestess to... Um, being a high priestess to the Morrigan. It's not, goddess are always speaking through my right ear um, and your guides are always speaking through my left ear. So we have goddess and higher vibrational energies through my right and my left ear is your guides. Um, so they were saying then two more. Your guides are saying two more, two more. So let's see, what's happening with your person that these guys don't know about? Good start. That does not surprise me. So for those of you that read tarot, the first card that you've got is the devil. So it does that really doesn't surprise me. If I was going to pick a card um, for you at the start of the reading, I would say the devil is the one. Okay. One more or stopping at four? So my guide is saying to stop at four. He's saying less is more. And I think that is a really good place for us to start with this reading. Less is more more so the less you are giving the per your person the person you're asking about the more you are going to get from them okay so that's your first message and I know that's not what's happening that you don't know about there's some really big advice in that the less you give them the more you're going to get stop chasing them if you are relax a little bit on the texting take your time let them message you let them be the ones that reach out to you let them be the ones that contact you the less you give them the more you are going to get from them and I know sometimes that can put you in a place of fear because you're like well what if I go silent and they forget about me they won't they absolutely won't forget about you and um, and the reason why is because the first card that came up is the devil 
Now, I know a lot of people look at this card um, and they're like, oh my God, you know, if you're going to look at a reading online and it's uh, the devil and death or, or, or movies, you're like, shit, this is really, really bad. The devil card kind of has a strong affiliation with my heart because being a Gemini with a Sagittarius moon, I often find that devil situations can happen around us. And it is this kind of addiction energy. So sometimes we can get addicted to relationships. We can get addicted, you know, you know the fiascos, you can get addicted to lots of stuff in life, gambling, drugs, you know, even so much as say playstations. But this coming up in your person's energy is their addiction to you. Ooh, do you like it? Their addiction to you because we're in their energy. We're asking about what's happening that, that you don't know about. And the spirit saying the less is more. Don't worry about it. And the reason why you're not to worry about it is because the devil energy of the devil card, not the devil thing, um, energy is in your reading. So your person is addicted to you. They are addicted to the situation. They love the chase. They love the uh, kind of the, the, the toxicity of the situation, how it's backwards and forwards, how it's up, how it's down, how you can go time without speaking, but you merge back together, you go in and out of each other's lives. And that is what is coming up first and foremost. So what's happening that you don't know about is your person has an addiction. Uh, spirit guides are saying an obsession as well. And I just got a song by Dav the Bard, who's one of my favourite pagan artists, and he did a song called Obsession quite a sexual energy it's quite a sexual song so we have that sexual chemistry between you guys as well okay so first thing that you don't know about is your person has an obsession with you they are a little bit addicted to you um, and there is a very very strong sexual desire for you okay now moving on to the next card and I'm going to read them all separately for you you've got the two of swords over here and we have a faceless man or women, faceless, they're faceless. And there are two sides to this story. You're gonna feel like you're getting, you know, this hot and cold energy, this little bit of whiplash. One side they put a mask on and they're like all loving and kind and the next minute they are just really cold or not texting you back. And you're gonna feel really, really confused about the situation. Now, why? when I'm asking why this is, why are, is your person acting this way? The energy that's coming up and what Spirit are saying to me is because they are feeling a little bit vulnerable with regard to the situation. Now, your person as a whole hasn't allowed vulnerability to really enter their lives ever. They've always had this mask on. They've always... Um, Spirit saying to me that it's come from childhood for a lot of you guys, that they've had to be strong um, in times of adversity. They've had to be strong for other people in the family. So they've always had to be a very strong person. So when it comes to their emotions and it comes to their vulnerability, they put that mask up, they put that wall up. OK, so with this car coming up over here, this is what you don't know about, is that they are feeling a little bit vulnerable with the situation. So you're moving backwards and forwards with this this kind of whiplash energy you're feeling like your head is spinning from it all okay so vulnerability which is making them one mask then the other mask and you're not sure what to take so that's what their actions are doing their their actions how they are acting with you is leading is, is this is why you know this is the why the next card which i'm quite interested about was the four of wands okay so other things that you don't know about is this person can see that the potential for the future with you they can see that this could go long term they could see weddings they could see kids they could see family this is also a very strong uh, twin flame union card and um, with the one 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 echoing in it okay so you've got the, the poles of the ones um, and that energy coming up for it celebrations canopies weddings you know it's all there so the other thing that's happened that you don't know about is that they can see a future with you okay they can see a future with you last card i want to go into is the ten of wands okay so like i said i know you're getting a bit of mixed messages from your person at this moment in time ten of wands is indicative indicative indicates indicative i think that is a word but it sounds a bit silly coming out of that the ten of wands indicates that your person is feeling quite burdened by the situation they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders and i also feel with this card for you guys that they are trying to please other people and they're putting themselves last now that is the way your person has always been that is the way they will always be they will always be like that they will always be um 
putting other people before themselves and that can lead to conflict and tension with you guys so they're burdened by the situation they're almost burdened by their actions because they're like why can i not stop being a dick <laughs> why is it when i start to feel vulnerable around you watching you 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 when i start they start to feel vulnerable and um, they panic over it but what i like about this card is that there is progression routes forward okay so they are moving forward with the situation but they are just burdened by it okay so it's really kind of playing havoc with their mind um and they're they're getting frustrated with their own actions you know there is that frustration with their own actions because we know that they can see a future with you you know on paper this is everything that they want but the reality is that they are frightened to death of being vulnerable when it comes to love and that is what's happening that you don't know about so let me just recap it quickly so you can understand it in the speedy form um so you've got the what you don't know about is that they have an obsession with you they are rather addicted to the situation and there is a very strong sexual energy and um, they feel vulnerable with the connection which is why you're going to feel a little bit like you've got whiplash they're trying to let you in a little bit and then they pull away when uh, they feel that they give you too much they can see a future with you and um, they do want to see where it progresses they are feeling burdened by their own actions but they feel like they're making headway with you uh, but you just got to go at their speed and that is deck number one so if you need me just drop me a message like i said i'm back from portugal now i do same day uh, voice note readings they are 10 pound a question on instagram or facebook you can just find me mystic love tarot drop me a dm how the cool kids do it i can't really do that now i'm 37 <laughs> drop me a dm um if you want to do that i also have spaces for video readings in the coming weeks so just let me know um just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com or d dm me and that's deck number one okay my beauties let's tap in tune in turn on to deck number two so what we're doing today is what is happening um behind the scenes really what's happening with your person Ooh, what's happening? so i'm just going into their energy so i'm creating an energy link between you and them we have got a little bit of stuttery energy so when as a tarot reader when we start shuffling the deck we can often pick up the energy straight away um from how the cards shuffle so the stuttery energy is like when you have a stutter and you're trying to get your words out but you're getting a little bit flustered by it and that's the first thing that's coming on so your person's probably struggling to express their emotions to you at this point in time doesn't mean they haven't got any um yeah but the energy is stuttering so they're like uh, 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 can't talk <laughs> can't get their emotions out to you can't express them very well and with that spirit saying to me really clearly that your person as a whole is more of an actions than a word person so if you are a little bit confused about how they're feeling and what they want please pay attention to their actions rather than their words okay what's happening that they those watching don't know about what's happening with their person that they don't know about. So as I'm kind of coming into the energy of this, you got a song, um, and you got Fleetwood Mac. Um, it's one. Of, well, I say it's one of the more recent ones. It probably was. I think it was when I was a late teenager now. Um, and it was a song called "Say You Will." And the song goes, "Say you will, say you will. Give me one last chance. Please give me time to change your mind." So that's the stuttering and that's the wanting a second chance with you. I get a lot of songs, by the way. Um, Spirit give me songs quite a lot. I'm going to stop at four. I feel like four is right at the moment. Okay, and if we need to pull more, we will do. Let's just look at the bottom of the deck while we've got six of wands. Okay. Right, for those of you who read tarot, I will read you the cards. So you've got four of swords, chariot. Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. So let's start off with the Five of Cups and the two messages that Spirit have given you already. Stuttering, say you will, give me one last chance. Your person has a little bit of regret, remorse, can't quite find the word, right words to express to you why they have acted the way that they have acted. And they're actually a little bit fed up because they know that they have those really strong emotions for you. It almost feels like they've said stuff to you that they regret saying. There's a sense of regret that comes from this. Um, and really clearly, actually then, Spirit just got a ring and they did place it on my wedding ring finger. 
okay so your person's been giving you a bunch of mixed messages and where you are at the moment you're probably not in contact or they probably haven't been giving you any kind of commitment with the spirit putting the ring on my finger this suggests that your person is wanting to give you a further stand of commitment so the card that makes me question that is the knight of wands so we know that they're feeling a bit of a failure that they're feeling in a bit of regret and the Knight of Wands is coming up because they haven't been giving you that commitment that you want. Now, let me find out why. Why haven't they been giving you that commitment? Four of Cups. Okay. Your person um, has been feeling a little bit fed up with the situation. Um, it perhaps between you guys, it got a little bit intense, maybe towers hit. And when I say towers, I mean shit hits the fan. Big T towers like divorces, breakups. Um everything coming out or little tea towers arguments slip-ups you know all that smaller stuff they've been feeling fed up with the situation because they are feeling a bit sorry for themselves they are feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and um, and things just haven't quite gone to plan and they know that it's coming from a sp stage that they perhaps in the past weren't committing to you which is where the knight of wands comes in so in the past, they perhaps weren't committing to you, giving you what you wanted, and you kind of put up and put up and put up with this situation. Now the tower's hit, shit's hit the fan, and your person is sitting there feeling sorry for themselves that they've handled everything wrong, that they should have done this better, or they should have done that better. And now they can't find the words to express that to you. They don't know how, perhaps some of them don't know how to reach out, perhaps you guys have got them blocked, or they have you blocked. They don't know how to communicate their words properly to you. And there is a really strong block in the throat chakra with your person. So if you want us to do some energetic clearing on that, and if God is say it's okay, we can do some magic on releasing these blocks of communication. Just let me know. Drop me a message on Insta or Facebook, um, or email mrlovetarogmail.com. I'll put all the details in the description. So they've been feeling fed up over this. Uh, they've been feeling fed up by their own actions and their lack of commitment to you. Spirit saying to me really clearly, spirit guide saying to me, don't suffer fools gladly. And I feel that's the energy. That's where your energy is at the moment. Like you've been at your wits end with this person, probably on and off and on and off for a few weeks, a few months, or even a few years for a lot of you. Um, and you've just said, you know what? <sighs> I can't deal with this. I'm just going to take a step back from the situation. And that has got your person in this sense of regret and feeling like they failed. Um, because they haven't, they've been thinking, I'm going to say the, the way I'm, I, I perceive it, they've been thinking with their dick or the lady gardens or, or you know, they've been feeling thinking with that and not thinking about your emotions or how it can make you feel. So now you are where you are and you're in this kind of stalemate energy. They're feeling sorry about that. So the other things that are coming up that you don't know about is that they are actually having a bit of recuperation at the moment. They're having a bit of downtime from the situation and you are as well. They're trying to ease the pain, okay? So you guys are kind of feeling a little bit sore still, but you're starting to perhaps, some of you guys are starting to feel a little bit better over the situation and your person is just feeling worse, okay? And sometimes you can see this with a seesaw effect on more divine connections. Um, you call it teeter totters in America, I think. In England, we call them seesaws. So we have one of you on one side, one of you on the other. And you go like this up and down. Um, and the seesaw effect has been happening with you. So you are now feeling better and your person is starting to feel really shit about the situation. Okay. Now, what happens now? The, the, the last card coming up is the chariot. So this is about longer term objectives being met. This is about movement forward. This is about reaching for goals, reaching for that level of communication and determination to achieve your goals. OK, strong movement forward. So what is going to be happening is that re-establishing of the connection, communication coming up with you guys. But you're going to have to, like I said, read between the lines, pay attention to their actions and not their words and see where you guys end up. OK, so what's happening that you don't know about? In short, let, let me give you a short recap, a short thing of it. Your person feels sorry for their actions in the past. OK, they're feeling really sorry and have a sense of massive regret over it all because they've been thinking more sexually and lack of commitment. It's all gone a bit peak tongue and now they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're having a bit of downtime from the situation, can't quite get the words out, would like a second chance with you. And that can come round again with determination.
that's happening what's happening that you don't know about so um obviously it's a collective reading if you want to look at individual circumstances we do video readings we be me and my guys video readings we also do same day voice note return readings for 10 pound a question so just drop me a message i'll put all the deets in the um taggy bit description or comments comments is the one i'm looking for i'll flag them all up so you can just drop me a message if you need me i love you lots thank you for bearing with me with me being away in portugal and um, like i said an absolutely amazing time incredible time and you know, who knows maybe one day uh, we might move over there who knows let's wait and see what the universe brings to us in our lives lots of love guys <laughs>